is these are kind of the one and only and one thing about me is i'm the biggest shopaholic on planet earth like you can't find nobody that can out shop me it is what it is i feel like a lot of people can't relate to me because to go shopping it involves money and money is something that everybody ain't got so like i feel like you see what i'm saying the girls that get it get the girls that don't don't so I recently discovered these fur gown bare boot bags that I've been obsessed with. Cause one thing about me is if I like something, I'm not just gonna buy one of them. I'm gonna buy it in every color. So I got five fur gown bare boot bags that I wanna show y'all because these little bags cool and really fashionable, but I feel like y'all gonna like y'all gonna fuck with it. The first cop was the Sharks and Paris bag. I know that name's stupid, but listen, I didn't name the bag, I just bought it. This bag costed me $99. It was $90 retail plus $9 for tax. This is the whole thing. One thing about these bags, they are strictly like a fashion accessory only. You cannot fit nothing in here when I tell you nothing. This is just eye candy, eye candy only. The most you can fit in this bag is a MacBook Pro. I own a 2020 MacBook Pro and you can see a ninth generation iPad in here. That's it, that all. So if you're the type that you're gonna carry your whole life with you in a book bag, this ain't it. You can even fit a water bottle in this book. This is the whole thing. I love the material on this. People, they be stopping me out of nowhere, be like, oh, I love your Louis Vuitton bag. Baby, you do not know your designer because this is not Louis Vuitton, but I, I don't even correct them. If they think that I got me some Louis Vuitton, I'm gonna let them think that I'm rich enough to afford me some Louis Vuitton, but this is the Sharks and Paris bag. The main compartment is on the back, which you can see literally nothing can fit in here. As skinny as I am, my arm can barely fit in here. This is the second bag. I know y'all thinking, what the rest of it is. That was my exact re reaction when this arrived in the mail. I spent a hundred and something on this bag and I can't fit nothing in here. Your AirPods will not even fit in here. This little bag is only for people taking pictures in and taking pictures in only. I wish I would've knew that before I spent all that money on it because like, my opinion on this little bag changed. I thought this was the cutest thing in the world till I saw it. I'm like, get this out of my face. I really wanted a refund. But this is the whole thing. The third bag is the ice cream bag. Not ice cream, but you heard me right. Ice cream bag. This is the whole thing. This was $80. And I thought like this cute old of them. I can be walking a class out of nowhere. A teacher will stop me and tell me that they like my bags and all that. He said, your bag is the coolest thing I've seen all day. And I'm like, okay then, that's what's up. But this is the whole thing. This is the only one that didn't come with like a little money pouch. I was a little pissed about that because, you know what I'm saying? Like, give me the money on it. That's the icing on the cake. The fourth bag is the pink punk bag. And this is cute as well. I feel like it's my favorite one. I love this little bag right here. Like, she's giving. I gotta give her a name. I feel like her name is gonna be... Benji. I'll look on late to money, so I'm gonna give their names Cash, Bag, De Nero, some Benji. I feel like it was her name gonna be Benji. But this is her. Just like the other bag I showed recently, you can also fit the same things in here. This one was $80 from the Spurgeon website, and this is the whole thing. The fifth and final bag is the Ferocious Money Bear bag. I caught this from Hibbit Sports for $80. This is the only bag that you can find in stores everywhere. I don't know if people wasn't feeling this one or what, but I like it, so that all that matters. This bag is so cute. It's the cotton um version, so I feel like if you want to get more bang out of your book, get the cotton version. They release in two versions, the cotton version and the leather version. We all know leather does not stretch. You cannot stretch leather. If you can stretch leather, it ain't real. That's pleather. But the cotton version stretches and you can get more stuff out of this so i'm easy to put my macbook pro i'm easy to put my macbook pro and my ipad in here at the same time with like no worries but these are all the bags i'm gonna try to put the link in the description because i know all of them sold out because i'm so fashionable everything i get sell out like i'm just i'm just it when it comes to like clothes shoes fashion everything like that but if i do like see some links of like some little undercover websites i have them i will put them below thank y'all so much for watching period